Hello friends, welcome to the next module of this program. In this program, we will talk about identifying security misconfiguration and exploiting web application. So, first of all, we'll see what are common security misconfigurations. Security misconfiguration arises when security settings are defined, implemented, and maintained as default. Good security requires a secure configuration defined and deployed for the application, web server, database server, and platform. It is equally important to have the software up to date. If directory listing is not disabled on the server, and if attacker discovers the same, then the attacker can simply list directories to find any file and execute it. It is also possible to get the actual code base which contains all your custom code and then to find a serious flaws in the application. Okay, now let's talk about what is improper file handling. Improper handling of errors can introduce a variety of security problems for a website. The most common problem is when detailed internal error messages such as stack traces, database dumps, and error codes are displayed to the user or maybe to the hacker. These messages reveal implementation details that should never be revealed. Such details can provide hackers important clues on potential flaws in the site and such messages are also disturbing to normal users. For example, if a hacker is trying to inject SQL query in the website and somehow he gets to know about the database name, then he can extract data easily. Error handling takes two forms, one, structured exception handling and second, functional error checking. First, structured exception handling is always preferred as it is easier to cover 100% of code. On the other hand, it is very hard to cover 100% of all errors in languages that do not have exceptions such as PHP 4. Code that covers 100% of errors is extraordinarily verbose and difficult to read and can contain subtle bugs and error in the error handling code itself. Motivated attackers like to see error messages as they might leak information that lead to further attack or may leak privacy related information. Web application error handling is rarely robust enough to survive a penetration test. Detailed error messages provide attackers with a mountain of useful information. Stack traces and SQL errors are two examples of very commonly forgotten errors that should be handled. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial.